coming back to the today's class children here it is a one more activity it is given that when solving the uh, money up here how it is uh, taken there example we will see that fill my diary kiran bought some junk from the junk collectors she paid them rupees 841 she to sold the junk at dinu's big shop and dinu gave her these notes and coins means when she paid that in return she got that whatever the those money she got that then she has to calculate how much she got and how many uh, notes and how many coins she got like that you have to calculate here so we have to see that what you have to do is here you can see that six, six notes of 100 seven notes of 20 five no eight notes of 5 rupees three notes of 50 six notes of 10 and four coin four of the coins there and based on that you have to write this kiran wrote the record in her diary she used to maintain the diary means what the amount is paid no so she has to maintain that all that how, how much she paid and how much she has to um, she got back and how, how much she spent how much she has had a profit all those she has to maintain it so in, the, in that one of the example is given here we will see that so later on what happened here kiran wrote the record in her diary how she wrote that see Money I paid rupees eight hundred and forty one on eleventh March two thousand seven. So money I got. So she whatever she got, those she has to write. So it is seen here. It is seen in this way. We can see here. See now six notes of rupees hundred. So six notes of rupees hundred means how much it became? That one, two, three, four, five, six are there. So you out here to six notes of rupees hundred means it is six into hundred. So if you multiply six into hundred, it is six hundred. Okay. Like that only you can see that seven notes of rupees twenty. So count that how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are there. So seven notes are there. So now what you have to do is like that only you have to count it here. See seven notes of rupees twenty means seven into twenty. You can see that seven into twenty. So total rupees is one forty. Seven twos are forty. Zero comes down. One forty rupees. So twenty rupees notes became one forty. Like that only you have to calculate all the notes. If you calculate that, you will see that. See. Uh, eight to eight notes of five means eight fives are forty. Three notes of fifty means three fifties are one fifty. Three fives are fifteen. Zero comes there. Six notes of ten. Six into ten is sixty. Four coins of uh, one rupee. So four into one is four. Like that only she got that. So one rupee coin she got four. Four rupees it is. So now calculate all those six hundred, one fifty, one forty, sixty, forty four, and all you have to write it according to the units place, tens place, hundreds place. You should cannot mix it units place and hundred place. So the writing the number system should be correctly, appropriately. Okay, children. So based on that, now if you add that all the money, what you'll get that you'll get a nine hundred and ninety four. So you got that nine hundred and ninety four there, and uh, money she got after selling junk to the new is nine hundred and ninety four. Money she gave to junk collectors after buying is rupees eight hundred and forty one. So you have to subtract that. It is if you get that four minus one is three, nine minus four is five, nine minus eight is one. So one fifty three. Money she earned back is one hundred and fifty three. She has to get that. See, she got that much amount. Later, she paid rupees nine hundred and nineteen to junk collectors. When she told the junk, she <coughs> sold the junk. She got these notes and coins from Dinu. So twenty-eight coins of five rupees. Five rupees coin will be there. No, those twenty-eight coins she got, and five notes of hundred rupees, and one note of fifty rupees, eighteen note of ten rupees, nine note of twenty. In previous one, she already said you that, and she gave that. Now here you have to set, check all the notes, and also note that you have to find the amount of that each particular given currency there. Not only that, then later you have to find out by adding the number. What is that? We will see here. See, record in her diary. Find out how much she earned this time on 18th March 2007. What she has earned? We will see that. See, if you see that, it is five notes of rupees hundred is five into. Hundred is five hundred. So eighteen notes of rupees ten is eighteen into ten is one eighty. Nine notes of rupees twenty is equal to nine into twenty. That is rupees one eighty. Means nine twos are eighteen. So zero comes there. Like that only one note of fifty rupees. One into fifty is fifty itself. Twenty eight coins of rupees five. Rupees five coins will be you know those twenty eight coins were there. So you have to multiply twenty eight into five. So you will get one forty. Now add all this in that diary. You have to do it in this textbook only. That uh, you have to do it in textbook. See, 
money uh, Kiran paid to junk collectors. This you have to write in that in the textbook. It is given this. You have to write this all in your textbook there. It is given a space there. Okay. So whatever she got that amount, she has to write there. See, five hundred, one eighty, one eighty, fifty, one forty. Whatever she got the money, you know, all you have to add it. If you add it. What happens? It is one zero five zero. You will get. So now one zero five zero. That week she got that. But how much she paid? Nine one nine. So she paid that one nine one nine. So now you subtract this. What is left is means whatever she got earned is that is one hundred and thirty one. She has earned. So this is the amount she got that. Means when she gave those notes, that was the amount is one zero five zero. But how much she has to pay? Nine one nine. So what should she get back? That means uh, left of the money is one hundred and thirty one. Like that, this calculation you have to do it in your textbook itself. You can do this. So one more calculation is given in your textbook there. These are the find, guess the answer, and then calculate. This is given there. So these all you have to apply this box method and you have to solve. This way you can solve it. One example I'll show you. Already I showed you that how the uh, this table should be used and how to be calculated. But one more I'll show you. See, the next first number is given thirty seven into eighteen. So thirty seven we can be written as thirty plus seven. So eighteen can be written as ten and eight. So thirty into ten is you have to write thirty into ten here. First one. Ten into thirty you have to write thirty into ten. And the ten into seven is seven into ten. You can like however you want. You can write. It is not that you have to write seven into ten or ten into seven. Okay. So now if you multiply that, you will get three hundred. If you multiply these two, you will get seventy. So next eight into thirty is two forty, and seven into eight is fifty six. So all you have to write it in a systematic way, and then you have to add unit space, tens space, hundred space correctly. You have to write and add six. A seven plus four is. Eleven, eleven plus five is sixteen, and one carry. Three plus two is five, plus one is six. So triple six, you got that, right? So in this way, you have to calculate for the all the other given numbers also. Here it is given here in this way. It can be solved here in this way. The second one is there. Forty plus five is forty-five um, into twenty-four, like that. And next one is given C and D. E and F. These I will share you the slides here in your has a class work. You can uh, copy down those in your class work book. I'll share you that as a one more activity class work video there. Okay, children. So you can get see in this way all the answers you will get there. These all answers you have to write it properly neatly. You have to verify by calculating this. These are the methods how you can solve it. I have showed you there these calculations. You have to do on your own because already I taught you how to do that by drawing a box and writing the numbers on top and on left side. Already you studied about these the box method in your third standard class also. Okay, children. With these in this way you will get the answers here. Here completes your chapter here. So this is the all about the junk seller chapter, and it is completed here. And after this video, I'll share you the class work video, and you can write it, or else I'll share you the photos of that. You can see that, and you can write it all those things in your class work book. Thank you, children.